Get. Gotcha. Oh, hey, it's Kevin Tobel with Giga Ohm. Um, I'm, I'm gaming when I should be working, but to be honest, in my defense, work is actually about gaming today. I am sitting here on my iPad and playing with the beta client of OnLive's cloud gaming. So here I'm playing Batman Lego, which is going on in the cloud. I'm using the OnLive wireless controller over Bluetooth, and it's like a console gaming experience. Let me show you how it works. So before I get started showing you how OnLive cloud gaming works, let me just point out this wireless controller, which is Bluetooth. It's very much like an Xbox controller. Uh, lots of the same buttons, triggers, bumpers, and so on. It's got a battery pack here for two AA batteries and also has a USB port here. So you can connect this to a PC or a Mac and actually use this as a wired controller as well. Uh, it's handy if your device has USB but doesn't have a Bluetooth connection for some reason. So I've used this uh, with the iPad, no problems. I've used this on a PC and a Mac as well. And you can see here I'm paired, it's all good to go. So let's get into OnLive. Where is OnLive? It's in my games. OnLive. Okay. You may have recently heard about OnLive because they have OnLive Desktop, and that allows the iPad to remotely access in the cloud Windows applications on the OnLive servers. That's really handy and all. This has actually been out longer, this product here, and the, the thing is you may not have seen it on an iPad yet because the app is still in beta, still, I believe, being reviewed by the iOS team. But it's the same concept. You're basically using a connected device to connect to the cloud and play games on a server out there. And you're just viewing them here and then obviously controlling them here as well. So here's the OnLive dashboard. I want to show you a couple things real quick. I really like the arena because it lets me see who is actually playing games right now. Like, what's this guy playing? Saints Row the Third. Well, He's just blowing stuff up, that's pretty cool. Somebody is not really driving there. Um, let's see, somebody's shooting somebody else there. I mean, you can just kind of sit here and literally watch. Uh, what are they playing? Homefront. More shooting. Everybody likes to shoot things these days. Pretty neat. So anyway, you can do that. And then you've got a marketplace. Let me show you the marketplace because I want to explain how the pricing works for all this. Uh, let's take a look at Defense Grid Gold, for example. Here you get a five-day pass for $6.99. The full game, which is unlimited plays, is $13.99. Notice there's an in-play pack bundle, monthly $5.99. So, uh, I'm sorry, $9.99. So for $10 a month, you can subscribe to this play pack bundle, and it's kind of like Netflix for gaming. Basically, you've got access, unlimited access, to about 100 games right now in the cloud. 25 of the games are pretty much optimized for touch, so you can use a touch screen to, uh, to do whatever and play them but uh, most of them are then usable through the controller. So uh, let's see, we just did Chris Columbus. Here, I'll go back to using the controller so you can kind of get a feel for how well that works or not. So it all depends on the game, the pricing. Um, this is full game for $6.99. Some of them are, you play for three days for five, six bucks. Some of them are, you get five days and so on. It varies by game, so you're gonna wanna check that out. So you got friends just like Xbox Live or Game Center on iOS. So I've got my son on here. He played, oh, yesterday or the day before. So that's pretty cool. But it all comes down to gaming. Let's take a look at that for a second. So I like playing Batman Lego. So I'm gonna do that right now. And we're gonna connect out to the cloud. And happy Joker Legos. I'll skip through the cutscenes where I can just to speed things up. Yeah, they're escaping from, I guess, Arkham Asylum and causing pandemonium. Now, the games are HD console type quality games, but I've noticed that they're a little bit fuzzy on the iPad, and I think that's because of the iPad's resolution. Um, if there is an iPad with a retina display or higher res, I don't think that's going to be an issue in the future. I'm not saying the games are non-playable. They're certainly playable. They're not as crisp and clear as I would like to see, but again, I think it's a hardware limitation on the, um, on the iPad because on my MacBook Air, they actually look much clearer. Here it goes. Gotcha. Kapow. Bam. All right, that's enough of the cutscenes. What I want to show you though is the controller, which I actually recommend for $50. If you're going to get into online gaming, for 50 bucks, you've got um, much more intuitive controls here. Some of these games have controls, multiple joysticks and buttons and 
different features and tap and hold and it ends up clogging up the screen in my opinion. So I like this. Uh, let's do a new game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So again, I mean, it's personal preference. You can play with the touch screen if it's one of the optimized for touch games, but I just find the controls to be just a little bit too much all over the display for these types of games. So, all right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Riddler's showing them all the, all the fun things they're gonna blow up and do. And the game is loading on the server. We get a little scene here. I'll keep hitting the button so we can get past this as quickly as we can. I'll show you maybe a minute of gameplay, not too long, because I'm not very good. And hey, the bank just blew up. I think there's a crime. We've got to go get him. All right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go get him, Robin. This is a two-player game. I haven't tried actual two-player on this. I don't know how that would work. Um, frankly, it would be pretty cool if you could do it, but then you'd be crammed against uh, one small screen, so. All right, you can bank on Batman. So, now I'm using the controller and pounding some bad guy Legos. Oh, where'd he go? There he is. Pound him, good. All right. I think um, it's hard for me to show you both the movement in terms of lag, but I think it's, it's pretty decent. Um, it hasn't hindered my gameplay at all, but then again, I'm not very good, as I said. So here, let's hop up here. Let's pull the lever. Oh, look, something hidden. Let's go in and press the B button. There we go. Now we can go get these little thingies. They're all worth points. Get the little heart. And then when we get on here, we hit B. And then we jump. So again, lag-wise, I think it's pretty good. It's not bad at all. So anyway, you get the idea. That's how it works. Um, I'm going to sit here and keep playing just because I can. And someday soon, in the very near future, I have a feeling you will be able to as well because online gaming for iOS should be coming out very soon.